All right, we should be able to get this one done here real quick. It's just a quick tip on how to remove some room echo. So listen to the video of me talking. This is the Manhattan, which has been around roughly since the 1860s. So as you can hear, quite echoey because I'm quite far away from the microphone. Now, obviously, the best solution for this problem would have been to use a lapel mic or to get the microphone much closer to my mouth. But I wasn't able to do that at the time. So what I'm going to do is just use a quick effect that's going to remove some of this room echo. This isn't the end-all and be-all solution. You'll probably find hundreds of other YouTube videos going into equalizers and all that kind of stuff. But here's just a quick, quick solution. And that is to use the D-reverb. So in your effects panel, just search for D-reverb. And then just drag and drop it onto your video that you want to remove the echo from. And what you can do is go into your effects control. You have that D-reverb option. Click Custom Setup and go Edit. Now, you've got a default setting here, and I'm actually going to play it so you can hear the difference. Now, you go to any bar and order in Manhattan. It's probably going to be a little different from this recipe. And the reason being is it's, it's evolved over the Did years. you notice that difference? So this recipe comes from a book called... So just on that default setting, it already removed a lot of that room echo. There's some default settings in here, heavy reverb, light reverb. I found the heavy reverb is just too much. It, it no longer sounds natural. Called Modern American Drinks, how to mix. So the default actually seems to work pretty good around 40. You can adjust your processing focuses as well in regards to the frequencies. I'm not an audio editing expert, so I just leave it at the default leave it at the default 40% and that's it. That's just a quick tip on how to remove a little bit of room echo from a video.